Um, all right, let's do the Mount Rushmore. Are you ready? Sure. All okay. right, so since Hank is oh, not yeah. 30 yet, he wrote a list that he'll give it to us after. You're It'll not 30? List. No. Oh, shit. You Holy look like shit. Imagine gonna, all this kid's accomplished. He's still in his 20s. Crazy. I've said it many times that I will, when Hank turns 30, it's going to be like an existential crisis for me because I've known him since he was 19. Oh, 18. my God. I think 19. I, 19. Yeah, so I've known him for his entire 20s. Less than a year. Yeah. Um, all right, so you guys ready? You want to start, Biz? So no, it's I things, don't want to start. Things uh, that change after you turn 30. So it could be things you suck at, just life changes, whatever. Just kind of a window. I, I actually to, will start. Okay. I have one that I think you'll really so enjoy. So it's going to be a snake draft. You understand that? Sure. So no. no, oh, so no you chance. explain it to me. I got a hose too. I should have gone Ex with it. Explain, explain to me how you think a snake draft works. Why can't I just play my game and you guys? Well, because just, it's, you have to play your game, but inside the concept of the, of Mount the snake Rushmore. draft. Yeah. So the structure of the, of the draft, how would you think a snake draft went? You're taking what you think would be the top pick in that topic to not allow anybody else to have it, and then explain a little bit why it yep, is you yeah. that's first made that yes, decision. That okay. Do with the snake. So then let's say you go first. I have I have one that's gonna floor right. big cat. So you go first, and then Ryan's up next, and okay. then me, and then it's me after big cat, and then who? And goes? then what goes after me? So things that suck no, after no, you. Turn yeah, no, no, but wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> who goes you after PFT? Ryan went. Big cat went. I went. Now we've all four gone. Who you is go that? Oh, you go, you go first go. again. Yes, fuck there yes. you go. You know yes. Yeah, I know how the snake. fuck okay. it works. Come Perfect. on, guys. Well, you looked at us like you didn't. <laughs> no, because I, I was I was uh, overjoyed with my first answer and how much hey, you'll appreciate it. Let me do this real quick. Roback question. Uh, you get Q-zips, hoodies, polos. Go to roback.com, R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code TAKE for 20% off your first purchase. Roback.com. Use code TAKE for 20% off your first purchase. What do you hate the most about WIT? Um, He's going to answer this. He answered while you were out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll have to listen to what he said. I don't. I mean, uh, oh. nothing. I, oh. I feel like he maybe sometimes like he gets a little bit cranky and whines, but it's kind of funny. He's a funny whiner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to tell you what he said? Sure. You got small yeah. peen. Mm hmm. Why would he care about that? You know what he would probably say? How, how much I, I asked him to do for work. What do you mean? <laughs> Like I, I I try to chisel too much work off him, and uh, he's like, "Dude, shut!" The, he's like, "I just want to fucking golf." Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Right? Would you say that that's probably my mo no, most annoying quality? Is I'm always asking for us to do more stuff, and you're like, "Dude, this is a joke." Like, let's just do the part. Yeah, but it's not it's not annoying because he's like making us money. So yeah, I okay. respect the hell out of it. You he, have the dream. He didn't make he didn't make the money I made playing right. hockey. So I respect that he's Facts. grinding now to make his dough. Like I, I he, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, "Holy shit!" But you I have the I dream love life. I love you for it. Too, Wait, you actually, like, if I had to pick one person who has the dream life, it's you. I mean, that. Wow. Like, the, no, I, would, I, mean, I, I would swap. I mean, you've I interviewed a lot of them. Uh, no, yeah, but you get to do the fun stuff, but you're also, like, I respect that you don't. Do like you could you could move to New York and work here full time oh, and be a I'd star. But rather be, I'd rather be right. Billy Football. Right, but you 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 are like really good at managing. Like this is what I want to do. This is what I don't want to do. You have the yeah, dream. And for the that. record, I have an average size cock. Okay, I okay. just okay. want to put that out. Okay, yeah. it sounds like okay. you're, you're very yeah, yeah, defensive. Yeah, 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 Please yeah, update yeah. the record. It's oh, it's I've, I've never it's personally average, like Colorado's in the South. It's average. I've never had to give a press conference announcing the size of my penis. Put it that way. I'd like to thank everybody from TNT all season long. Uh, I'll, I'll be 20 minutes here, guys. Give me a few. For the uh, dick pump they gave me yeah, to yeah, grow yeah. this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, For did bulging my crotch did, area with did, the HD lenses in did studio. They, did they explain to you what a snake draft is? Yeah, he got I it. I know what a snake he draft is. It. Did he you ever it. do one with Barstow Chicago? Yeah. Okay. I so figured out it. what a snake draft yeah. was about halfway through that one. That was the learning <laughs> yeah, lesson. That was, yeah, that was where we learned. All right, so go ahead. Let's go. First, first pick. Biz. Right away. Your dependency on coffee after you turn the age of 30 That's years a old. fact. That's a good fact. Good one. I didn't have that one. That is an absolute fact. That's a good one. It's I mean, constant. You, you're thinking you're taking on more responsibilities, whether it's with work, whether it's the fact that you have a family. You know if you have kids, you got to be cranking at least four or five cups a day even to just get your fucking day started. Mm -hmm. Big Cat, I see you so, post about it every single so morning. Much coffee. And, yeah. and I know that you can really relate to this one, and I'm sorry if I stole it from no, you. No, that's a great one. Most people in America can agree that your dependency on coffee and it sucks because there are a lot of consequences to it if you stop you get headaches oh there's days where uh you need to keep drinking it. so i have a cup like right when i wake up but then i'll sometimes like get busy or something and forget because i usually have another cup around 10 a.m and if i miss that one 
at like two, I'm just like, what's happening to my body? Yeah, you're like, like am back- I having a seizure? Back- no, you need <laughs> a backhand, your old lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're like sorry, I need my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, the, you, we should do that as a sketch. You turn right? into Raging Bull. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoop, instead of head off the drunk, desk, a bad drunk, you're just a bad non-coffee drinker. <laughs> Man, what's wrong with you? Uh, I need a cup of coffee. Yeah, you, you know that something kicks ass when there's a big movement of people that try to like tell you how to quit it. Right. So now it's like a thing where people are like, I'm doing a caffeine detox. Yeah. I'm quitting coffee and they quit for like two months and then they go back and they're like, I just had to prove to myself that I could exist without it. Turns out it sucks going back to it. Now I'm addicted again. Full time. Yes. Oh, why? You actually did that or you're saying people do that? No, some people. I would yeah, never like, do that. But, but if, why, why if would that's you? your problem that you're trying to quit, like settle down. That's a pretty right. decent problem right. to, yeah. to have. I mean, there could be way worse things we'd be addicted have to. Have you guys ever had a scientist on to explain the 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 like the bad things about caffeine? No, they always release... I, Big Coffee does a great job marketing because like every three months, New York Times would be like, study shows that coffee drinkers live 10 years longer than everyone else. Um, so they, they're doing a good job. Yeah. Would you guys start a coffee company with me? Sure. Okay. Be ready let's for talk. phone calls. Okay. Let's, let's yeah. talk. I'm not. Yeah, this is uh, okay. Why? Then it could sponsor your pod. It could sponsor our podcast, and then we like, you know, maybe one day if they fucking say we're really hey. hurting for sponsors. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying start your own company so that your company can sponsor your own podcast? Yes, correct. That's, That's fucking double genius. dipping, baby. That's genius. That is genius. That is genius. Yep. This guy's smart. This guy. This guy's yeah. bigger uh, brain. Coffee today. I'd like to thank my coffee company. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's a good one. One. All right, Wit. Go ahead. I would say. Just, just the hangovers. Yep. I mean, I mean this, is, this is like the one-one draft pick. It's, yeah. it's that's just, why you need it's DHM just, you, can't, you can't drinking. I say the drinking's the only thing in the world. The more you do, the worse you get at it. Mm-hmm. And and over thirty, it's like I don't know. It, it for me, this list. Once we talked about this yesterday, a lot of it's actually thirty-five for me. Like I've yeah, noticed in the last four, four or five years, it's been even bigger than thirty to thirty-five. But yep. overall, dude, I cannot. Cannot go out if I have something to do the next day. Like yes, I, and if I'm drinking, I have to drink from noon to eight p.m. Get my seven eight hours. Yep. I'm fine. But dude, if I'm up till two in the morning drinking, I'm actually done for like two to three days. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. No, you know what it is, it, and you're right about the thirty thirty five thing. I think thirty is when these things start to creep in. Thirty five is when they hit. Like I, and I got married when I was thirty five, so but that really. I that got, re- I got yeah. my first hangover when I was thirty one. Yeah, and I was like, what is what you're is like, what is this? What's dude, this feeling? So I remember. Uh, uh, I was just out of call. I was tw- say twenty two. I used to g- we'd go out every Friday, Saturday night. Say we'd train during the week, right? All the guys playing, but we'd rip it up every Friday, Saturday night. I'm talking till three, four in the morning. Saturday starts right back at it. Every Sunday morning, I would play softball in Situate, my hometown. I'd go down and play softball. It was a nine a.m. start, and I'm like, I can't even fucking move yes. my body at yes. night. Mm-hmm. I was out two straight nights, and then I'd play softball at 9 a.m. I wasn't even I, – I felt great. Yes. Dude, so, and, and, and like bachelor parties, it's all, it's now three days because it's like Monday, you're, on you're terrible. Tuesday, it creeps in, and then Wednesday, you're not hungover. You just don't feel right, yep. and you're like, I'm not normal. I still. can't tell you the last time I went on a bachelor party. Yeah. Maybe three, four years ago. Well, I yeah. go on golf trips, which I guess turn in basically that to like a bachelor, bachelor party, yeah. Yeah. and then, yeah, you come home, and you need a vacation from the vacation. Yeah. yeah but the, the, yeah, I, I'm sorry to go long-winded, but drinking and hangovers after that's, 30 it's the easy. biggest That's thing. why you need yeah. DHM yeah. detox. Yeah. No days wasted. It's, it's yeah. a good it's a good There's 20 pick. promo code. And, yeah. and the delayed onset hangover is brutal. The worst. Oh, it's so the bad. Worst. Oh, uh, uh, I'll be fine. Like if Weed I, can help that a little. Yeah. Like Weed's kind of created, I think, to just like a little puff of your hungover might help you, but then you're just like on another planet from that yeah. too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. But yeah. you're absolutely right. Like a great life hack once you turn 35 especially is just go out and day drink. Just yeah. day drink. Just it's day the drink. Best. Get, and then go back home, have a giant meal on your couch and then fall <laughs> pass asleep. Out no, on the couch. Yeah, the pass r- out on the couch, yeah. wake up, you know, get like 10 hours of sleep and then you're at least manageable yeah. the yeah. next day. The rule I always go is getting drunk is still fun, but once you're drunk it's time to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, the yeah, beers yeah. one through seven are so much fun and then when you're like, oh wait, I'm drunk, I'm out. If I have, yeah, if I know I'm drunk, I yeah. just it's the biggest Irish action you've yeah, ever seen. Out, mm-hmm. out. All right, I'll uh, I'll go with another one that I think is high on the list and similar to hangovers. Heartburn, heartburn after Ooh. when you get older, like we it's just this last night. it sucks so bad to to have to actually think about these things where it's like, oh, I I shouldn't eat these wings at fucking nine p.m. tonight because <laughs> I'll be puking in my mouth at four in the morning. 
We remember when we took, uh, we were in Vegas probably three years ago, four years ago, and Hank had his first ever heartburn, and he explained it to us, and we're like, yep, yep. buddy. The like, puke comes up. Yep. 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 And it's like, you just, it just hurts, and you just feel like shit. Uh, yeah, like having to actually think like, ooh, I shouldn't eat this this late at night, or this is going to, like, if I have a beer and a wing, like, it's going to fuck me up, so... That's the worst. The I carry worst. I carry around Tums now. Yeah. Like it's my wallet. Yeah, so yes. I, I recently made the upgrade from doing Tums and keeping Tums on me to now I take the one-a-day pills, mm -hmm. which is like supposed to be- You just get ahead of it. You yeah. get ahead of it. Yeah. It's like, okay, this is just a problem I'm going to have to deal with, so for the rest of my life, I'm going to just take like a morning <laughs> pill, and then I'll be moderately- I still take the Tums. I double dip on that, but it helps. So that's, that's a big switch in your life when you realize- you just accept the fact like- my stomach's gonna suck. Yeah, like until I, think, I die. Yeah, 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 and I think about like like when you're 21 in college, you're like, oh, I'm gonna eat Taco Bell at two in the morning. If I did that now, dead. like I I actually might die. I might yeah, be like yeah. fucking. Who's yeah, I think, the, yeah, I, I think Jimmy I Hendrix, think, uh, puking, you know, pu choking on my own puke. You, you you just have to really change up your diet as you yeah. get older. You yeah. don't even really need to exercise that much. It's more about the diet. It is true. If I have Italian with red wine and then chocolate after, oh, that God. those three right there. That's a bomb. Those three right there. You're waking up at 2 a.m. with a rush of puke yes. through like your throat. Like a Siamese cat and you just shit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a heart bomb. Red, right, red sauce and wine or barbecue and whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Either one of those yeah. two oh. combos. Yes. All right, you got two picks, PFT. All right, this is tough because a lot of mine are off the board right yeah, now. Yeah, I knew heartburn was, I, was on there. I had... I had digestion. Okay. Is that the same as heartburn? Yes. Yeah, where it's just it, sitting it, in Mine your was stomach. also about my asshole, too. It's like yeah, 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 taking yeah, yeah. too many shits. But I'm not going to say that. You uh, can do bowel movements because that's yeah. pissing, too, changes. Uh, I'm going to say making new friends. Mm -hmm. That's a great one. Yep. That's great a great one. one. When you're 30, you usually have your set group of friends. I'm all set. I don't need any more you friends. You don't need more friends. Well, yeah, trim yeah, the fat, actually. You trim the fat. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, yeah, get less friends, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's but, hard to keep friends. But when you when you meet new friends after the age of 30, it's usually built around an event that's taking place in your life and not necessarily because you have something in common with them. Yes. You know, it's like, oh, this person works in the same office as I do and I don't hate him. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess we're friends. Oh, this person <laughs> plays fantasy football. Yeah, I'll talk to them. I guess they're my friend. But it's not the same level of closeness because I think what really makes you close with a friend is is getting into trouble together with that friend. Yeah. That's what forms that bond. Well, and doing fun stuff. When yeah, like, you get over 30, you don't do that Yeah, much like fun sitting, stuff. The, the funnest times that you can remember with your friends is not even like going out. It's like waking up the next day and like all being in a house together and like, you know, busting each other's balls. Like, you don't get that anymore. No, you don't because yeah. the kids got baseball. Yeah, and right. You got to get mm -hmm. the dry clean. And right. Yeah, it's over. Good pick. Good pick. Big okay. cat. You're up. Oh, no. No, no you oh, don't know the snake. snake. You don't know the snake. All right, Whitney. PFT, you're up again. Oh, yeah, I'm shit. up again. Uh, so for my next one, I'm going to go just sleep, just sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping is tougher. Yep. Yep. Once you hit 30, it's harder to fall asleep. It's harder to stay asleep. When you wake up in the morning, you don't feel like you've slept the full night. It's just, it's not the same. It hits different after. Yes. 30. I, I, I would do anything, anything to sleep in, to be able mm -hmm. to sleep. In. I'd kill a small animal. I would do, I would, I wouldn't do that. I, I shouldn't have said that, but no. I would, I want to just set an alarm again. Wait, I don't need to set an alarm. Small, dude, how small dude, an animal? Chipmunk? Like, I'd kill a chipmunk. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a little 10? bird, little bird. Yeah. Like Squirrel. I'm just telling you, I don't need, if, 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 if I need to be up for a flight or something at five in the morning, yeah, you need the alarm. But at 6am, my eyes open no matter what. Yep. And it kills me. Yep. Yep. It's, it's impossible to sleep in. All right. Uh, I got next pick. I'm going to say that when you get past your 30s something that really sucks is all the athletes you're watching are younger than you and being like <laughs> like you start calling athletes kid and like shit like that where you're like oh okay like Luka Doncic is like 13 years younger than me like that shit just like kind of fucks you up where you're like what am I doing I'm watching like you know because you grow up and you have athletes that are older than you and they're like oh yeah that's my hero and then you get to a point where you're like fuck i'm older than everyone in this league yeah and that sucks i don't think you can have a hero that's younger than you yeah right that's, that's always tough to do it's like and thinking like, about like watching college like basketball and it's like i'm rooting for a 19 year old i could i'm double his age when, when zion got into the league and people on tv were like this fat ass needs mm. to watch his diet. It's like, dude, you're just like on television, like really, really caring about the body size of an 18 year old. Yeah, right, right. right. It's, it's just weird. It fucks with your head, and it's just like you have moments. You still root hard, but like you also have moments where you like step back and you're like, whoa, what am I doing? Yeah, am right I gonna now? get hit with a restraining order? Yeah, here? yeah. Like, what's you know, happening? You know what's my tough body shaming is is when the first person who's younger than you retires from yes. sports. Yeah, yes. you're like what? And you, no, yes. no, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. wait. I you still think years. the college guys are my age. Like, oh, yes, yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. When you see a call, like when you see a, the NFL draft, the, the 
the the quarterback that goes one one, you're like that guy's older than me. And if he <laughs> and if he saw us, he's yeah. like, hey sir, Mister Whitney, yeah, I'm right, like, right. what the you're fuck, like, fuck, dude? We're the you. same age, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh, All right, my your, God. your pick, Whit. Uh, okay, mine would be, um, and this has been a big problem for me, just waking up and something's injured. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The the injuries from sleep. And, like, I, yes. I, I, I wake up and I'm sleep like, oh, my injuries. God, I can't move my neck. What the fuck happened? Oh, you went to bed. Like, oh, really? This is what happens now? Like, I wake up, my foot, I can't walk really correctly. Like, you have these injuries that happen from nothing, whether mm-hmm. it's, I guess, sleep, what I meant. Also, like, you can sneeze and, like, Sammy Sosa style, throw out your back. Like, that's after 30. That doesn't happen in your 20s. So, yep. ra- mm-hmm. random injuries, basically, that come from nowhere. It yep. happened to me the other day. I woke up, my entire left arm, completely not there. Yeah, like, I'm what talk- I'm talking, like, not even pins and needles. I mean, like, there was nothing going on nerve-wise in my entire arm. And then I, I do some research about it. I either slept on it really wrong or I've got, like, some injury that I'm just going to have to wake up with a dead arm once a month. And you'll never do yeah. a thing about it either. And it's also, yeah. like, just any – like, I was at a wedding a couple weekends ago, and, and I woke up and I was like, my ankle hurt. And I was like, why is my ankle hurt? And my, my friends were like, dude, you were so fucked up. You were just Euro-stepping people in the middle of the street at, like, 2 in the morning. It's like, why did I – like, that – Why was I doing why that? Why was I doing that? Like, of course I'm injured from I, that. I was, I was going to a, a golf uh, – I was going to play golf. This was two years ago. And I got to the road where I'm on the road, and then I got to look. I got to merge onto a road left. And all I did was just go like this. Oh, but, but you're the yes. slowest yes. turn to the left. And I couldn't even go play. I was, I was like, I got to go to the hospital. Like, I just turned left. A spe- another one is picking up your kids. Oh, like, yeah. If you pick done, up your kids, like, you're I done. just, I'll hurt myself once a week just picking up my kids with a weird angle. You should you're hire done. a guy to just pick, to hand, pick me up, your, yeah. hand me the, my kids. Like, no, you, you, you can go in and lean in for the kisses, but he has to continually hold the kids. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, your pick. Two. I was just going to say uh, overall, like, grooming and maintenance and the fact that you start having hair coming out of weird Oh yeah, yeah nose and ear, like, hair. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ear, I get these long ass eyebrows, yeah. uh, eyebrow lashes. Oh, dude, same. Yeah, it's bad. They're like this nose fucking, hairs. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, nose hairs, and, and and not only that, but you got nose. Uh, yeah, you you're really on me. I have a couple hairs on. He top has of hairs my nose. growing on yeah. top of it. Go look yeah. at his nose. Oh, man, that's whiskey. Like yeah. That might be the beginning of whiskey nose yeah. too. Ooh. Can we please uh, post like a video or a picture of the <laughs> hair that's growing on top on the point of his nose? Dude, what do you want me to do? I think you should start getting it waxed. Uh, eyebrow I, combo. No, I'm, He's I'm got done a with that. Three. The unibrow. I'm done with, I'm done with it. Do you guys pluck your unibrow? No. I'll, I've never had to deal with that. No, so I, I'll I pluck I'll, my unibrow. I'll, I'll, I shave my unibrow. I do it all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you do for one. I would I would be next to I would be next to my wife on the couch and she gets up all of a sudden comes back with tweezers and is just pulling yeah. ear hairs. And your eyes are watering, you're like, ah! yeah. she's like getting all these she's like these ear hairs are disgusting. I'm like, what I didn't know I had those. Yeah. So Fizz, that's a great pick. Yeah. Great. I think this is the obvious one, uh, sex drive. Mm, okay. Yeah. After the age of the, yeah, I, yeah. You don't want to hump. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I, I feel like just mm-hmm. wearing like New Balances, kind of yep. like all the stereotypes you see online about mm-hmm. becoming a dad, like the big white ones, mm-hmm. the high white socks, kind of how I look how I look like today. Yep. And just I don't know. I just like I'd rather just fucking not do it. Sometimes yeah. you have to remind yourself, like if I was 18 years old and I knew I could get laid, and I knew that 30 year old me would not take that opportunity, then you get mad at yourself, and then you're like, no, I got to take advantage. So you have to like almost trick yourself into wanting it more. Yeah. After you turn thirty. Yeah. Or get testosterone shots. Yeah. It's too finer. <laughs> Every two bombs. weeks. Does he really? Oh yeah. Really? It, dude. Is that we, why he's? We eat- know. We we know when we take Barstool Sports Advisors if it's a t- testosterone week or not. Because yeah, he's screaming. He's just like so horny. Sean, have you ever heard everyone? of his rule? Yeah. Uh, the 15, 15, 15 30. Yes, we have heard of his yeah. rule. I still haven't. <laughs> I th- I still haven't recovered from throwing up after I saw him describe. That wasn't that the rule. heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> He does Barstool Sports Advisors with his kids in the room most of the time. His sons will be sitting there, and he'll be talking about eating their oh mom's God. ass. God. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait, you're up. <laughs> While he's close talking to you with, with, yeah. a, with a hair in his yeah. teeth. Um, kind of a tough one to explain, but I cannot for the life of me get around since, and this is kind of a post-35 one, maybe a post-kids one, Having to make plans so far in advance, yes. mm-hmm. it fucking kills me. I got, hey, you want to play golf September 10th? I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? I'm like, call me September 8th. Like, yep. But everyone I know, all my friends that are way more organized than me with families, it's like 
they have every weekend planned out for the next four months. Yes. Yeah. And I can't do it. And it's like actually creating stress in my life because like if I just did it, but I'm like, that's like me holding on to being young. But anyone listening, you'll have a point when you need to plan out everything and it sucks. Do you have the big calendar? We got the shared calendar. Dude, the when the big calendar big. shows up at your house, this might be relatable just yet. to dads, but when the big calendar shows up to your house... It's a torture chamber. But the only good thing about shit big gets ca- put on that, like he said, like in 2023, it's like yeah, it's yeah. basically like uh, you know when like Alabama announces they're playing Texas in 2030. <laughs> that shit goes on the calendar. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're, we have uh, his sixth grade graduation in nine <laughs> it's years. Crazy dude. So I I, uh, I I do think about the big calendar though. Married guys will know. The good thing is if you get something on the big calendar, yeah, you get it. It stays. Mm-hmm. You get it. It's in so pen, it's like I, I put that in the big calendar. That's it a beca- fact. It Wait, gets more the real. calendar and just puts golf every day. Yes. That's the thing is like you can use the big calendar to your advantage too yes. because if it's on there they have to respect what you've put on them you're actually doing a good job as a husband yeah. and a father by planning that out that far in advance but basically yes. so i mean planning our life planning your life on an advance i i hate that and that's an over 30 thing yes what about yes. thanksgiving how early do you make th- thanksgiving plans because i made my last we ones, do the same thing every year i i made my last ones in january <laughs> and that was tough yeah when i had to decide like and then i started looking at flights and expedia's like sir you can't book a flight this far in advance oh yeah i'm <laughs> that's always you know you're old. Yeah, that's an yeah, old. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh, the big calendar haunts me. All right, uh, this one I, I'll have to explain a little too. I when once you get to thirty and then like thirty five, you, you're supposed to like nice things, and it's like re- like you're supposed to like wine, really nice wine, and like nice clothes, and like you're supposed to like these things. But there's part of you that's like, I don't. I just want a fucking Coors Light. Like I don't. I'm still a piece of shit. Yeah, right. Like I'm yeah. still a scumbag. Like you're you're not supposed. <laughs> like you can't stay in bad hotels. Like there's supposed to be like things that you do that are nicer, and f- your friends like nice things. I appreciate you admitting Coors Light's bad. Coors no, Light is you the best. Shut the fuck up. It is the best. I'm a Coors Light guy. Yeah. You're, you're suspended. But, I'm a Coors Do you know what I mean? Saucy. 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 See you Saucy. later. Saucy. Do you know what Get I mean? Though you're you supposed to later. like be an adult with some of your tastes, and you're like, wait, I don't. Yeah, like I, I like, like a cheeseburger. I don't need to get yep. like the tuna tartar tar- tar- tar and shit. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. ordering a cheeseburger at a nice steak restaurant or, or a nice restaurant, you look like a scumbag. Like, it's like, like I want the cheeseburger. A girlfriend or a wife wants to try this new restaurant. You look at the menu like there's not one thing I yes. want at that restaurant. Yes. I want to go to the sports bar. Yeah, I yeah. want I want to yeah. get yeah, I want to get like mini fucking uh, you know, corn dogs and and pre- and a big pretzel. And just watch some games. Yeah, I, think I, I, bo- I booked us this uh, non-alcoholic vegan restaurant, <laughs> yeah, sweetie. Right. It's just like. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, right. I should have like, saw it on the fucking calendar. Dude, you have to, like, you can't, like, if I was just by myself, no kids, no family or anything, I'd just be a scumbag still. You know what I mean? Like, I'd stay at shitty hotels. I wouldn't care. Like, all that stuff. But you got to like nice things when you grow up. The heartburn's making a lot more sense now that you keep talking. The heartburn was a great pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What do you all got? Right, listen, to your last two. Suicide's not funny, but it would be very funny if Biz actually killed himself because he had to go to a vegan restaurant. Or <laughs> like, put something like, in a calendar. Not worth it. Not but, worth it. I don't mind vegan food, actually. Uh, so my my next one, I'm gonna go. Hmm. You got two. We gotta we sir, gotta sir, we gotta clock? rush two because they got sir, a shot interview. Clock? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with finding and caring about new music. Mm. You Good stop, one. You stop, Great one. You start. I'm struggling with this big time. Yeah. Yep. So when was the last time you found like a new Dude, band? Well, music you sucks find now. You. I'm trying to find old music yeah. now. Me too. It's crazy. Me too. I'm like, my Spotify is just all songs from the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Like, my, yep. Mine, like the latest I go, I think I stopped really appreciating brand new music. I think the year was like 2011. It's all junk now. Anything past 2011. It's like, yeah, I'll listen to it occasionally and I'll, I'll recognize the song. But then I'm like, no, play me some from the 90s. <laughs> like, go back. I, I, I love that pick. That's a good one. The, the key is finding a few friends that are DJs or have great Spotify lists and just have them send them, have, have them send you over the list and you just kind of go through it and listen. And it's kind of fun because it's random and you don't have to do any other work to find it. It's kind of yeah. like the same thing of, of talking about an 18 year old that's coming to the NBA, though. Like, I. I'd feel weird going to a concert of people that were all like 21 years old. Feel like a real creep out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. That's a very good one. Uh, my last one, I'm going to go uh, just dressing. Mm. Just dressing yourself in general. This this might be more personal to me because I have like what I call accidental six-year-old days where I get into the office and I look at myself in the mirror for the first time. I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking dressed like a six-year-old again. Yeah. And it looks weirder as you get older. So maybe it's just like me not updating my dress style. What's, what's that, Hank? What's that fucking smirk No, it's like, it's like... No, no, Hank has a smirk. 
What is it? I mean, like, he looks great right now. He looks like a six-year-old himself. No, you were, you were, you were, you were explaining it well. Yeah. But I don't, it's not like that changed when you got over 30. But it, it looks worse on me <laughs> now that I'm old. Yeah. No, now when people yeah. find out your age, like, that's how you're dressed? Exactly. Like, if you were 27, yeah. at least maybe that's cool. Right, right. Yeah. So it's like a personal thing. It's like not updating your dressing style whatsoever to appear like hey. an adult. Hey, yeah. I, I feel you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. You look, yeah. That's a Rudy There's outfit. There's definitely something. That's, uh, that's Rudy Junda. He would wear yeah. that exact outfit that you're wearing right now. Yeah. He'd look much better in it. Um, I'm right. envious of your of your dress style. Like, I wish I could I could dress the way you do. Or who are you talking to about you. that? Yeah, me. You like wish you not feel like, like, like a child. Feel, he, like he fashion say, exclusively he wearing say not free feel clothes. Shame, not have yeah. your wife. There's gonna be paparazzi you. Yeah. following you around now. He wishes he could not feel shame. You wish that you could like wear. Jinkos. Like I don't think you've spent money on clothes since I've met you. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a fact. I know. Wait, and I'm, wait, I'm I'm I'm, I'm game, envious of that. A game I like to play is what did I buy that I'm wearing? Um, I think I bought. I bought these socks. There we go. Huge. I, I always buy. That's my treat for myself. Once nice a year. new socks. Yeah. I buy Stocking new socks. stuffer. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. My last pick. Uh, With the gold coins. It's <laughs> chocolate gold coins. <laughs> my last pick is going to be. Uh, I, w I watch everything in subtitles now. And yep, yep. I also like have found my. So this is like a combo of like, like just sound. I have. It happened actually the first time we went to Army Navy last year. And we had like a Barstool Sportsbook event. And I had to ask the DJ to turn the music down a little bit because yeah. I couldn't hear people talk. Because like I was trying to have a conversation, I was like, "This is just too loud." So just the sound and like subtitles, like all that shit changes, and you're like, "Yeah, this music." Like having to actually say, "Can you turn that down a little?" is such a demoralizing moment. But you have to like do it because you can't hear anything, and it's bothering you how loud it is. So that's you, you know what the worst is loud bars. Yep. I yeah. Fucking hate loud yeah. bars. Yeah. And it's. I, I think I've always like not I, I've never really loved being in loud bar, but it's such a bigger inconvenience now that I'm older. And I know that I'm not a loud talker anyway. So like if you're I, not stepping foot inside a club. If I no, fuck no. I went actually I went into a club like a month ago, Hank, right? Went to a club a month ago. I was like, what do I do now? Oh like, I just oh, we, I, I put stand, your earplugs in. I stand next to this couch. Yeah, and, and, and like wait it. for wait for the bottle. And then service you pay girl. ten grand yeah. to stand there for the real estate. Yeah, it's yeah. like okay, I'm gonna hang out by this very nice looking couch for yes. an hour. Can't even yeah. talk to anyone. Yes. Can't can't do it. It's awful. But you uh, do get the sparklers. That's true. Yes. All right. <laughs> Wit, your last one. Ah, oh, this is tough when you come to the end. I would say like patience in lines, if that kind of makes sense. Like when I'm standing around now, yep. I don't know. Like when I was younger, I don't know. I just kind of like waited there. Now if I'm at like Starbucks or something, it's taking forever. I just notice I'm way more. Maybe it's having kids. You just lose your patience. Yep. And I feel like you get it back, like maybe fifties and sixties, when you got nothing to do. As of right now, like my patience level is horrific. I skip. I'll skip, if I see a line, I'll just be like, nope, we're not going there. Yeah, it's like, yeah, uh, yeah it's yeah. like I, I just, I just, I am always somewhat in a rush. I feel like, and it drives me crazy. Yep. You know what the worst line is? If you've already received whatever service that you're paying for, and then you have to wait in line to pay for it. Yep. It's oh. like I've already got it. I'm leaving. And I'm not but, but now I have to wait in line to give you my money let me just <laughs> hand you some money yeah and just i won't i won't take change. let me wait yeah. to pay i mean you yeah. guys kind of co like collectively took my last one which is going to be your 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 ability goes up that's i think that's fair yeah, yeah. in general so, yeah so now i gotta think of a no, new I mean, one you could do that one if you can think of other you know patience is different I, I would say that my early days, like, you know, in your 20s, you always want to be around your buddies and you're, you're okay. We t And we talked about the friend things as well, like where I really, really, like, you, you, I guess you enjoy your, your alone time. Yeah. So, therefore, yeah. you aren't as irritable. But yeah. I guess that wouldn't be something that you hate when you turn 30, right? So, yeah. yeah. Taking care um, of your body maybe a little is an yeah, extra one. Like, that's just like you're like losing you, weight. Yeah, it's like impossible. Like, I'm going to go to the gym. One, yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, like just trying. Yeah, just being like, oh, well. I could put together a few good days in a row, but like nope. it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay. There's I mean, a game on tonight. It. I'm gonna yeah. drink. Yeah, losing weight. How did I not do that one? I can't <laughs> lose weight. I actually, someone, I was on the uh, uh, elevator with Alex Bennett today, and she was like, "Oh, you've been playing basketball. Like, you are you trying to get in summer season?" And I was like, "No, listen. There's only two seasons in my life now. It's football season when I gain 20 pounds, and then off season when I lose 10." So I'm just going so two <laughs> steps back, one step forward until I fall off backwards off a cliff. So in the 2035 season, you're going to be four. Y yes, tens. yes. It's just like that's pretty much how it always works. Um, all right. For, for me, I think that there's a limit to my to my body. I think once I hit 200, I think then it's all over. 
If I'm below 200, what are you at now? I can always uh, shit. I don't probably like 175. So if you hit 200, it's basically. I came. It. I came so close last summer after we did Grit Week and we went to that wing place, uh, Wing Nuts. Yep. And I fucking absolutely destroyed these wings there. I got home. I weighed myself. I think I was 195 pounds. <laughs> and I know that once I hit 200, it's never going below 200. <laughs> it's just going to be. But I'm yep. just like throwing up. My hands would be like, okay, That's, I'm going to be fat from now on. That was my 220. Once I hit 220, it was 240 the next day, and it was like, you're never going <laughs> I back. think everyone has that number in their mind, yeah. though, that when they see it, it's like, okay, th- this is over. Yep. Um, we have an interview right now. Yeah, with let's Ber- go. Yeah. Bernie Nichols. Yeah. Let's. So we'll, we'll, what we'll do is wrap up. This was awesome. Thank you, guys. We love you guys. Love you guys. Um, Who won? We'll, we'll, we'll put it to a vote on you, Monday. And then we'll have Hank, we'll have Hank say, Good job, we'll have Hank say Thanks, his boys. list uh, after, <laughs> you know, during the show on Monday. So thank you, guys. We love you. All right. Love you, guys. Love you, too. Love you, guys.